put them in marriage for the test. That's the stuff. Good morning. Oh. That is still 11. Good afternoon, guys. How you doing? Good afternoon. African breakfast. How you guys doing this 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 morning or this afternoon? Some states are good morning. Who know African yam? Hey. Who knows African yam? This is African yam. It's just like potato. But this one is more. Mm, it's almost the same. I wanted to say this one is more softer. But it's almost the same. How you guys doing? How you slept? How was your night? For me, I had a lot of dreams. A lot of crazy dreams. A lot of crazy dreams. I just have to pray on them. When you dream crazy dreams, just pray. Just pray on them. Just pray. Whenever you dream crazy dreams, like somebody attacking you, somebody trying to kill you, somebody trying to do something, you know, or you dream like you're drowning, you dream like shooting, you dream like a lot of blood. When you wake up, just pray. Like me, I dream a big ocean today, like a big, big, big ocean like a big ocean so you have to cross that you have to cross the ocean to go to your ne next destination so i was so scared i'm scared of water me i'm very scared of water so i was so scared to cross are you guys okay what color was water in your dream it was white it was it's, it was clear the water was very clear. That's the type of question my mom always asks when my mom was alive. Whenever I tell her that I dream water, she's going to ask me, was the water dirty? <laughs> Let me wash my yam. So the water was very clear, but I was just scared to jump in that water and cross because the ocean was so big. The ocean was so big, man, and the water was deep. But some people was in this water crossing. They don't even scared me. I was so scared. So some people that was with, they pushed me. They pushed me inside this water. But when they pushed me, the people that was in there, they have something like a net inside the water. So they just catch me with the net. I just went and fall in that net, you know. So I didn't, I didn't fall into the water. I fell into the net because they didn't want me to drown, you know. So they crossed me. But like where we were standing, so who, where I was standing or was standing to cross the water, the place was so high. It was like a hill. It was so high. Let me wash my knife. Oh, 
pray. I will pray. I will pray. Oh, I will pray. If you don't pray, Satan will make mess of you. So, I so they pushed me into this water. Then I went and fall into the net. So the people that was in the water caught me. So they helped me cross the water. So when I cross the water, I climb this uh, um thing. It's like a mountain. I climb it up. You know? So, yeah. I don't think I remember the rest of the dream again. I don't think I remember the rest. Yeah, that's what happened. Good afternoon, money love. Good afternoon, Anita. Good afternoon, Dana. Good afternoon, Ingrid. So this is my yam. I'm cutting my yam up. I'm going to fry my yam. I've seen this. I've seen this recipe from Nigerians, but I've never cooked it. I've never fried. I don't think I've ever fried yam. I always boil my yam. But I see people frying yam. So today I want to try it. I want to try it today and see if it's good. I want to try fried yam today. So see if it's good. Hello, Tamley. Hi, Gloria. How you guys doing? Can somebody explain my dream? Can somebody tell me the meaning of my dream? Tell me the meaning of my dream, please, so I, so I will know what to do. Do I, do I have to make any sacrifice for that? <laughs> Africa, anybody you call for dream, they're going to tell you, send $100, let me make sacrifice. You have to kill a goat. <laughs> you have to kill two goats, two cow, two sheep. You have to buy four white chickens. You have to buy three black chickens. So by the time they calculate, will you be seasoning the yam? No, I'm just going to put some salt on it. I'm not going to season it. I'm just going to put some salt and fry it. Then I'm going to make some sauce to egg sauce to eat with it. I hope it come, come out right. Like I said, I've seen this recipe around, so I want to try it. It's not my recipe, but I'm going to make it my own. I'm gonna make it my own. Yeah, so the yam is cut up. Can you guys see that? Repeat your dream back over. Hey, Deborah, after all that explanation. <laughs> okay, Deborah, let me wash my hands. <laughs> so, Deborah, if I repeat the dream, now you're gonna tell me the meaning. Are you gonna tell me the meaning of the dream if I repeat it? And Deborah. Are you gonna tell me the meaning? Good morning, Sharon. How are you? You guys share the live. We're gonna cook some, we're gonna fry some yam and we're gonna make some egg sauce to eat with this yam. You can do it the same way with potatoes. Okay. Okay, so Deborah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Deborah says she's gonna tell me the meaning of the dream. Okay, let me season my yam. Season your yam with some salt. Then mix it up like that. Stop calling me, please. Okay, so let's check the oil. You're, you're, you're falling from a high place, but there is love ones around to cut you. Yes, that's what happened. They didn't want me to drown at all because they knew that I was scared of that water. So the people that was in the water, make sure that they cut me in that water for me not to drown. And in real life, I'm like that. I'm scared of water. In real life, I'm scared of water, period. If anybody want to kill me fast, take me to the ocean. <laughs> take me to the ocean. That would, be, that would be the fastest. <laughs> because I'm scared of water. So I'm frying my yam. This is yam. It's just like you're frying potatoes. So anybody want to try this recipe, you go to the African store and look for the yam. They have different, different type of yam. They have Ghana yam, they have um, 
They have Nigerian yam, they have white yam, yellow yam, different type of yam. I love the white yam since growing up in Africa. Let me turn the fire high. I need to put enough. I don't know if I can put all. But I'll put enough in there. I don't want them to turn brown when I leave them in there. Okay, that's enough for now. Thank you. So you have to let them fry. So now we're going to start the... We're going to start the process of the sauce. Okay, so... Um, let me repeat my dream again. I dream I was, you know, I dream I was standing in this mountain like a hill. So, but you have to cross this ocean for you to get to the other side. And the ocean was so big, big. The water was like, oh my God. When you look at the water, you're going to be scared. It's plain water, white, you know, clear water. So I was just standing there shaking. I said, ah, me, I'm scared to cross this place. So luckily, so some, some people that I was standing with there, they pushed me into the water. So when I fell into the water, the other people that was there, they caught me. They have something like a net. So they just opened up the net, then I fell into that net, you know. So they helped me cross the water to the other side. Then that's it. You know, that's what I remember. I know the dream was longer than that, but I don't remember the other side. Yeah, so. So me, well, let me wait for Deborah. Let her tell me. Is yam, is yam the same as um, American sweet potato? Um, not really. I don't think so. But it's in the same family, though. They are all, like, soft. They're in the same family. Yam, potato, cassava. They are all in the same family, you know. So I'm gonna make sauce. I'm gonna make some egg sauce to eat with this um yam. Okay. Um, say pray to Raka at midnight. God will surprise you with abundant blessings. I mean, Yara. Thank you. I'm gonna pray. Yeah, I pray though. Anytime I dream, when I wake up, I'll just pray. I'll, I'll lay on that bed and just pray and talk to God. It don't matter if it's a bad dream or good dream. To me, I'm washing my onions. To me, there is no bad dream. You know, it's how you make your dream to become. There is no bad dream to me. It's up to you how you make your dream to come true. Yeah. So number one, hey, yes, Debra. Debra said number one, you are not supposed to tell your dream. Number two, the reason why you was called into the net was your angels. Yeah, hey, was your angels surrounded you and kept you from drowning. Number three is someone close to you or someone you know is gonna fall into a a body what body of water. Mm. What's the last part? I don't understand that. Somebody I know is going to fall into what? Body of water? I hope it... I don't know. Can you explain the last part so I can understand? It's good to explain dream all so people can translate it for you. Yeah. Me, I always explain my dream so people that know they can translate it. Especially when my mom was alive, I always call her, call her and tell her my dream. If I dream anything... Ex, anything extra anything i don't know like funny funny dreams i don't i don't care about it but any dream that caught my eye i will explain to somebody so they can tell me if i need to pray if i need to make sacrifice you know so can you explain the last part hold on let me put the comments man this comment hey okay someone that you know is going to fall into a body of water because someone is against you that's why your angel kept you kept you from drowning hey hey i like that part hey, hey. so you're trying to say that those people that push me into that water them the one gonna end up drowning right 
I like that part. Yes, yes, yes. I think the same way though. I think the same way. I was like, okay, you push me. I didn't drown. It's your turn. <laughs> it's going to be your turn. You know, because there's so many people out there that want you to drown, that wish you to drown. So, I think I believe that part. I agree with Deborah. Uh, I agree with Deborah. The last one fall into trouble. Thank you. Um, tell your dreams after you eat. <laughs> I thought they said, tell your dream after you pray, because I pray already. <laughs> tell your dream after you eat, okay? <laughs> you guys share this live. Let's, let's, let's check our uh, uh, yam. Let's check our yam. Yeah, you have to come and mix your yam. <laughs> Deborah, you need to inbox me your number. Anytime I dream now, I'll call you personally. <laughs> I'll call you personally and tell you my dream for real. The way you explain that dream, I like it. Those, those, uh, uh, and it was ladies though. The ones that pushed me was ladies. It was ladies for real. So those ladies, um, in other words, someone is praying on your downfall, but your angels surround you in blankets. Hey, thank you. Oh, Deborah, thank you. I love you. <laughs> hey, hold on, Deborah. Na, na, Deborah, now you're talking. Now you're talking, Deborah. I 100% believe what she's saying, for real. Yes. Hey, Chef Ruby and family. Hi, Adama. How are you? Deborah, I believe what you're saying, for real. I really trust what she's saying. Yeah. It's so it's so many enmity out there, especially for me. This state I'm living in Atlanta, it's so many enmity out there for no reason. Some of these people, they don't even know you. They don't even know which village you came from. They just don't like you. They just hate you for no reason. You know, so, yeah. And trust me, I dream them. Me, me, I don't know how God made me. God always show me. God always show me stuff. God always show me stuff, unless I want to ignore them. That's a good dream, Chef Ruby. Something good is coming your way. Thank you so much. I believe in that. I mean, I mean, and I claim it. Something, ocean is good though, because I remember when my mom was alive, whenever I dream something like that, she always tell me that when you dream of ocean, big ocean with clear water, she said, that's very good. That's, that's blessings. It's like a lot of blessings about to come to, to your life. Chef, Chef Ruby, you, you are a beast with a knife. Thank you. I am a little beast with a knife. You know, this knife is not sharp today. So I'm going to cut up these peppers, onions, tomatoes. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with it. I'm making sauce. Um, so God is showing you that... He, he got you. Yes, my God got me. Anybody that planning evil for me, anybody that planning for me to drown, for me to, to uh, um, you know, for something bad to happen to me, trust me, it's going to come back under your feet. That's the meaning of that dream. I really believe Deborah. Thank you, Deborah, for translating the dream. And it makes so much sense because those ladies that push me in that water, and God saved me. My angels was right in the water to save me from those people. Them, they weren't going to end up in that water. Them, they weren't going to end up. All of them. It was about three or four of them. They're going to end up in that water. Mm -hmm. They're going to end up there. They wanted me to drown, but I ain't going to drown. I am too blessed to drown. I am too blessed to drown. Trust me. You know? Anybody say that? Say, I am too blessed to drown. I'm not drowning. My angel was right there to cut me live for me not to drown. You know? It was in the water with a net too, with a blanket to cover me and help me all the way. Oh my gosh. This dream makes so much sense now. Yes, it made so much sense. That's enough paper. Just one little sauce. To eat with this thing so let me oh let's take the yam out 
Let's take, take this yam out. Give myself Jesus can pray. Amen, I can pray. Oh, no, are you not to pray? I will pray. Oh, I will pray. You're going to fry them to golden brown, just like you're frying our French fries, just like you're frying sweet potato, just like you're frying any kind of potato, any kind of yuca cassava, any kind of yam. Fry them to golden brown. You all see that? It's nice and golden. This is the yam. Nice and golden. I'm going to put it right here. Then I'm going to fry the rest of it. So, the rest of the yam is frying. Then, let me turn this um, thing on. I'm going to use that to fry my yam. Um, fry my pepper sauce. So I'm going to take some oil out of here and put it here to fry my pepper sauce. I don't want to waste another oil. So I'm using the same oil from here to make sure we fry the pepper sauce. Okay? So the pepper sauce is, the oil is getting hot for the pepper sauce. Um, good morning, Chef Ruby and family. Happy Happy, thankful Thursday to you and your family. Thank you, Miss Sarah. We wish you the same. Miss Jacqueline said, the Bible says that no weapons formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. No weapon shall prosper. Trust me. As long as you are blessed in this world, my dear, nobody can, nobody can try you. If you are blessed, nobody can try you. Trust me. They can... They can spend all their last, last, last money in their account to destroy you. They're just destroying themselves. Are, there is no way they can church you. Because you're a blessed child. You don't hurt nobody. You don't bother nobody. You do your own thing. Some people hate you for your own blessings. Some people hate you for, for what's going on in your life. You know, that's how human beings are today. They don't want to see anything good. All they want to see is evil. All they want to see is evilness. Uh, Chef Ruby, you are covered under the blood. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for your prayers. I didn't even know this dream that I explained was going to turn out this way. But I'm glad that you guys understand dreams. In my own little African way, I was thinking the same way. But to me, I didn't think like for my american people can think the same way you know what i mean so we are all the same we think the same you know we translate dream almost the same way trust me if it was my mom my life i call her that's the same thing she was going to tell me and for her she will explain it in a way you're going to be scared hey they try for kill you they come they push you out they wanted to kill you thank god thank god god save you thank god oh thank god you know she's gonna be so scared that old lady that's why before, whenever I dream, I'm going to make sure I call her and explain to her about the dream. I just want to hear her reaction. So I have one habanero pepper here. I'm going to break one Maggi to put inside. Because the reason I'm doing that, I don't want my habanero pepper to jump in my eye. So that dry Maggi going to hold it. Or you can put some of your seasoning. Some of your all-purpose seasoning in there. You know? Then you're going to beat up this pepper. Pepper and small onion. Okay? Let me take some garlic. I have my blended garlic here. Garlic and ginger. I'm just going to take a little bit like this and put it in here just for flavor. Okay? Chef Ruby and family, the food is delicious. Um, so good. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Miss Dana, thank you for the cash out. I didn't expect you to do that for real. <laughs> thank you. Guys, I went and meet, I went and met and meet or met or whatever. I went and meet Miss Dana yesterday at um Lennox Mall. I gave her the jello fries and the oxtail. 
Wow. So how was it? You love it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the cash up though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed the food. So I'm blending this ginger garlic, one habanero pepper, and um, half onion. This is for my sauce. Okay. Make sure you blend it very well. Okay, so now my, my oil is ready. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is ready. So come in here and fry your onion and bell peppers. Fry your onions and bell peppers. Let me take it like this. I'm going to mix this yam so they can brown both sides. Let me taste the yam. Oh my god. The yam is so good. You have to try your onions and bell pepper. Too much oil. All purple season. Habanero pepper and garlic. Oh, that's you. You all see that? The blended habanero peppers, ginger garlic is in this onions now. Right, we're gonna turn this off. Then we're gonna take this rest of the yam out. Take the rest of the yam out. The yam is golden brown. Okay. So now we're gonna come here. The sauce I'm making is egg sauce. They call it egg sauce. Okay? So you're going to take your eggs and break them in here. Break your eggs. Break your eggs nicely. I don't want to put them back in the cart because I think that's enough eggs. So now you're going to salt your eggs a little bit, like that. Then you're going to get a cup. Then you're going to beat up your eggs, like that. This is how you make egg sauce. I don't know if that, this egg is enough for that, but I'll see. So beat up your eggs very good. This is a breakfast anybody can make. Nigerian people love this breakfast. So you're gonna come and put your eggs over this. We need more eggs. That's a lot of onions. I'm gonna put some more eggs. Maybe four more eggs. Okay. It's time to try. 
crush all of this and clean up. We're going to salt this one too. Just salt it. Then beat it up. This is your egg sauce. You're gonna eat with that with that yam. You see that? Now you're gonna come in and start cooking it. Come eat this onion sauce or this egg sauce. You can eat it with boiled potatoes, boiled plantains, um, boiled yam or fried yam. You can eat it with sweet potato, um, sweet boiled potatoes or fried. You can eat it both ways. It's so good. Look at it. I'm just gonna let it scramble or fry. Let me get a bigger spoon. Wash my hands. Clean up my counter. So you have to make sure. It's quick cooked so well done. Anybody can cook this. Some of you guys that only know um, continental breakfast, you can try this breakfast. This is an African breakfast. You can try it. It's something else you can try. It's so good. Like I said, you can make this egg sauce. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it with boiled potatoes, you can eat it with boiled plantains. You can eat it with a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that you, that you want to eat with. That's the yam. You all see the yam? Golden brown. Can you explain to what is sour soap? No, I don't know. I don't know sour soap, my sister. What is sour soap? It don't mean because I'm from Africa, that means I know... What is sour soup? I don't even know who invented sour soup. I just know that they said it's good for your health. You know, but I don't know. It's a tropical fruit. Okay. I had some potato grains yesterday and they were good. The rest, the rest gonna be my dinner. Oh, <laughs> potato grains. We call it potato leaves. It's so good. So I'm just waiting for my eggs to be well done so I can dish. Let me try one more yam. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So good. You have to make sure your eggs are well done. Me, I like well done food. Uh, why have a lot of sour soap here in Jamaica? Oh, we have a lot of yeah. I think maybe you guys have the roots. You guys have the roots there. Maybe that's why. I don't know where sour soap came from. I don't know who invented that. But a lot of people like it. They said it's good for your health. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Who wants some? Mm -mm. Who wanna eat some? Who wants to eat some? Who wants to eat some? Come eat some. sauce and fried yam it's so good so this is how you eat it why oh, it's hot this is how you eat it oh, yeah. the video i'm gonna post it when i'm done why it's too hot but you have to join oh my god the eggs is too hot you have to join it or you can eat it like this Oh. oh my god mm. 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 Oh. fried yam is like sweet potato or like potato or french fries something like that african yam Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Too good. Uh oh. You can break it. Put it with a yam, you blow it. Oh my god, you blow it. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That's the yam, it's like fried potato. Mm -hmm. It's like an omelet. It's like an omelet. It's so good. It's too good. Mm. Let me wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. So, go ahead and go make this dish for your family. This is the fried eggs. With saute onions and bell peppers and chef ruby all purpose seasoning this is the fried yam if you don't have yam do you ever cook african yam stew no african yam stew what is that i've never seen african yam stew <laughs> thank you miss sandra mm, sharanda mm -hmm. there is nothing like home cook there is nothing like home cook though. There is nothing like home cook. When you cook home, it's 10 times better than street food, okay? So go try this. It's so good. Go cook it for your family. If you don't have African yam, Miss Lynn, thank you, my dear. Thank you, my love, for 300 stars. If you don't have African yam, use um, potatoes. Get some Irish potatoes, fry them. And make your egg sauce and eat it for breakfast in the morning. Something different from your regular breakfast you eat every day. Well, yeah, something different. You can fry sweet potatoes. You can fry the yam. You can fry regular potatoes. Anything you want to fry it of your choice. Go make it. It's so good. 
I love and I appreciate you guys. Let me go sit down and enjoy my breakfast. I'll see you guys later, okay? No makeup. Mm. I wake up like this. Thank you, Miss Suzanne. Suzanne, go make the yamo. Go fry the yam and fried eggs. It's so good. Egg sauce, it looks delicious. Oh, I have to go sit down and eat. I love yam. Please try it, Miss June. You're going to love it. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. All right. I'm going to come back for lunch later. Oh, Gina, I love you. I got to stop party, so you guys send party. When star party come, you guys have to send star so the star party can activate. If you're just sitting there till the five seconds is gone, the other send stars is going to go away. So send stars. Miss um, Remy said, afternoon, Chef Rubio. Get a greeting from United Kingdom. Love your show and your cooking. This is the way most Nigerians love their eggs to be made especially Sunday morning. We love this with yam, potatoes, and agi oh? agigi, agigi bread. Yeah, I know the agigi bread. I love agigi bread. I always buy them, but sometimes when I buy, only me eat it. Those kids don't eat it. They say the bread is too heavy for them. You know? So, yeah. You know, you can, you can say it's Nigerian food, but anybody can eat it. Even me, I saw this um, Nigerian people cooking it. So I said, oh, I can make scrambled eggs with saute onion. So it's almost the same thing. Let me make it. Thank you, Pamela, for 200 stars. Thank you. I will start sending star party. You are the best cook ever. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I try my best, though. I try. Yeah, I try. You know, like, <laughs> I, I really don't want to go there. But... Um, I saw this guy video, uh, how do you call him? Darius Cook. I saw he made a video. He was educating. He was educating us, all of us that's in this food business. Because some of us will come here, we call ourselves chef, 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 Ruby. Yes, for me, like me, I never went to school for chef. Mm -mm, I can tell you that. But most of my food I cook, I create my own recipe. I cook from scratch. You know what I'm saying? So I am the day chef. You know? So I don't like him that much because since I get to this Facebook platform, he is somebody like, I don't know. I try so many times to reach out to him and whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so he's a good guy. He's a good business guy. And when I watch that video, I learn a lot from that video. I'm not going to lie. I learn a lot, 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 lot in that video as a, as a businesswoman, as a cook. Because he said we should call ourselves cook. We are not chefs. No problem. I don't have certificate for chef, but I'm a cook. I am an original cook. I cook original. I cook from scratch. Everything I cook, I cut with my hands. I go like this. That's the real chef, okay? I Maybe I'm even more than some chef that go to school because some chef that go to school they have to read and read they, if they want to make this recipe now they're going to hold a book here they read do i have to put on here green pepper oh oh oh, oh okay uh tomato oh oh okay. they have to do that you know but me my recipes come from here i come here you guys see me for the past two years you all follow me You'll never see me open canned food here and cook or or go to the whatever. I create, I cook from the motherland, I cook from scratch. But don't get me wrong. I I learn a lot from that video. Yes, I learn is so many things I'm gonna take from that video and 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 um, how to say it, put it on myself to 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 improve myself. Don't compare yourself to anyone. You are an original. Definitely. You know, original means you cook original. You cook from scratch. And if you can cook like three, four, five different cuisine from different countries and from scratch, trust me, sometimes you're more than a chef that went to school. Uh, you do too. It looks so good. Everything you make. Yeah. Everything I make, I cook from. I cook it from scratch, and you guys know that. I don't have to explain. But like I was saying, I'm not saying that 
I support him in everything that he said on that video, but so many things he said on that video is, is true. So many things I learned, me too, I learned from him and I was happy to see that video because as a business person, you need to learn from others in a good way so you can perfect your own business or you can perfect your own cooking. You know, we learn from each other in this life. All of us learn from each other. <laughs> Anybody that say, oh, I don't learn from somebody or I don't see something and, and use it to my own advantage, you're a liar. All of us learn from each other. We learn from social media. We learn from everybody. You have to learn. As a human being, you grow every day. You have to learn. If you're not learning, then you are done, you know. So, and yes, you have to focus on one thing. Focus on that one thing and make sure that thing comes out perfectly before you go to the next, you know, because sometimes we tend to grab so many things at once and sometimes you're going to squash, you're going to crash on all of them, you know, then you start to size zero again or square one, you see, so start on one thing and finish it. I learned that from him too. I learn a lot. I learn a lot. So it's good to listen to different creators, um, Facebook, um, um, food, food um creators you can learn from them too i received my seasoning too thank you oh everta thank you for your support i need your business card there are people in my area when i talk to them they say they seen your life and they have um they seen your life and they have good words about you they say they will follow you. We laugh about your hot sauce and how you can eat. <laughs> how you can eat. It's, it's, uh, it's just need a lot of your business card. Okay, so I don't know which state you live. You can inbox me your address. I will ship you a lot of business card. I just made cards, so I will ship you some. You know, but if they follow me, they know my information. Sometimes I don't think they need my business card, you know. They can just share the video, share the video, share the video. That's why I always ask for sharing. Keep sharing the videos. The more you share the videos, the more people know about me, the more people follow me. Even me here, I started this new page. But for me, it's not my fault. The, the old page, I have over 120,000 people there. But for some reason, um you know i'm gonna put it on myself i'm the one make that mistake playing music i didn't know the rules and regulation i was do doing whatever so that page is is still there but it's not monetized you know so that's why i have to open this page okay so please you guys follow me you guys share this video so we can grow this page now i try my best to sit down and read the facebook um the facebook um do's and don'ts i try my best to read it although sometimes i don't know everything but whenever i'm confused i go to my daughters i ask them and when they email me something or inbox me something whatever i don't touch it i go to my daughter for them to help me so i'm doing my best to maintain this page so i don't go against their i don't go against their policies and stuff because the moment you go against their policies they're gonna demonetize you they're gonna stop paying you or whatever whatever you know so that's why I, I never wish to open another page mm -mm. because how can you get a page that that almost going to 200,000 then you go open another one for me that's greediness but you know it is what it is so please y'all keep sharing my videos y'all keep telling people about me so we can grow this page to to whichever number we can grow but for now, it don't matter how many people here. We're still going to cook. We're still going to share ideas. We're still going to talk about things. We're still going to love each other. Um, always buy your seasoning. Thank you, Miss Annie Jones. Thank you. Inbox me your address. I'll send you some business cards, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you guys. Let my food don't get cold. It's good to eat it hot, hot. So let me go eat, and I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.